Hi, my name is Abby and I'm with Gas Sensing and welcome back to the Learn It With A Blonde series. Today we're going to be talking about the K600. The K600 is a great handheld detector um, that comes in a multitude of different uh, ranges as well as gases. Uh, so when we go ahead and open up the protective case that it comes with, you're going to see that it comes with uh, the how-to manual, spare filters, tubing, a charging cord as well as a charging block, and the K600 itself. The K600 is a great option um, for both uh, personal gas detection safety as well as industrial use. Um, it comes with a rubber non-slip case as well as a industrial case which makes it uh, waterproof as well as dustproof. It has a great little clip on the back that makes it good for um, attaching to clothes as well as a hook if you need to hang it in a room um, by a nail or whatever you may be using it for. To turn the device on you're simply going to hold down uh, the center button and you'll see it's going to go through a warm-up period. It takes about 60 seconds to warm up and read the room and once this warm-up period is done we'll go through how to use some of the different features as well as how to get to the menu um, and functions buttons as well. Now that the warm-up period is over uh, we can get to how to use the um, different menus. So to get to the function what you'll do is push the function button and here you can see you can turn the pump on as well as the alarms. You'll be able to uh, choose yes and no through the different arrows by using these buttons and pressing the uh, main one to get back to the home screen. To get to the menu itself, you'll push the home screen main menu button and here you'll see all the different options. Um, we recommend that this device gets calibrated yearly, which is something that we can do here at Gas Sensing, which I highly recommend. Um, but if you do choose to do it yourself, you'll see on this startup menu that there is uh, zero gas as well as cal gas. That's where you'll use the tubing uh, with your device and um, use the ultra zero air as well as whatever designated gas uh, that you purchased. You can also purchase on our website the uh, gas that goes with this um, to do calibrations yourself or a much cheaper and easier plus you get a calibration certificate. Um, I would just contact us at Gas Sensing to do that for you. If you notice your K600 is getting some odd readings, um, one thing that you can check um, before you do a calibration is see what the filter looks like. So you have these spare filters. Um, if you unscrew the top right here, you'll see that there's a filter in the unit already. If that looks um, dirty or it's a little bit wet, I would recommend uh, changing out the filter before you do anything too drastic, uh, just to ensure that um, everything is it's able to read correctly um, and not getting stopped by anything gross inside. In order to charge the device, you'll lift up the little flap right here on the top and insert this cord. This is also the cord that you'll use to um, plug this little USB into your computer and get all of the readings off of it uh, for data logging and um, any other startup help that you might need. To shut the device down, you'll go to the home button and you'll scroll over to shut down and it'll ask you um, sure or back, so you'll hit the sure button and the device is off. All in all, the K600 is a great handheld device um, just because of its sturdiness as well as it's super, super easy to use. Um, once again, the K600 comes in a multitude of gases and ranges and if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach us through our website, gassensing.com or to hit, uh, hit up our sales team at sales at gas-sensing.com. I hope that you were able to learn a lot through this video. I hope it was very informative and hopefully um, helps you make an educated guess on which handheld detector is best for your operation. Once again, I'm Abby with Gas Sensing and thank you for watching.